hello students today we are going to discuss about depositional environments and we will learn how these environments are important for petroleum reservoirs or source rocks and we will also observe their nature and the characteristics of the sediments as well Okay, here is a deposition model where you can observe different deposition environment quickly as you can see alluvial at the top and some submarine fan at the right bottom and in between there are different scenarios like lacustrine, evaporite, fluvial, uh, uh, olean, lagoonal, beach, deltaic, tidal and some other environments okay here is very important table that will help you to understand how the properties of rocks vary with deposition environment at the top there are different deposition environments and in particular cell the property of a rock is given Similarly, their color, grain size, grain shape, their sorting or inorganic sediment structure vary with depositional environment. So this is actually the important, you can say, uh, interpretation in the exploration of oil and gas reservoirs and source rocks. Here are some more examples of different deposition environments where you can observe the variation in the characteristics or properties. Okay, the major types of criteria used in recognizing sedimentary environments are the physical, chemical and biological characteristics preserved in the sediment. First of all, let's discuss about continental environments. There are four dominant types of continental environments, which are alluvial, fan, bridge stream, meandering river deposits, and eolian. Okay, first of all, here is an example of alluvial fan. As you can observe in both of these images, and you can see the particular environment for the deposition of these types of sediments. Uh, one thing you should be clear about that here we are learning about the environments and with the help of these environments we will characterize a particular rock which had been deposited in the past in this particular environment. Today we are extracting oil and gas from different formations or rocks and those were deposited in different depositional environment. So to understand those deposition environment, we have to take a look natural features those are available today around us on the surface. Those are also uh, you can say present in the past. Uh, when the rocks were deposited and organic material was deposited with those sediments and now after million of years we are getting oil and gas from those sediments. So for learning we have to observe these images, these you can say uh, figures of different deposition environments. So the rocks which were deposited in the past, particularly in this alluvial fan environment, they actually are poor in porosity and permeability. So we can say they are less important for petroleum exploration. We need good porosity and permeability for a potential reservoir. Okay, typical lithologies for these environments are 
conglomerate and sand and generally these are massive sands okay here is another example of braided stream deposition environment as we can see and the dominant lithologies are coarser sand and conglomerates strong significant as volume reservoir because in, uh, in the world there are some reservoirs which were deposited in these type of sedimentary environments like braided stream and they have proved as a good reservoir for petroleum Okay, here is another deposition environment, meandering river deposit, deposits. The important feature is the point bar as you can see in the figure on the right. There are three different positions of point bars. These point bars actually consist, consist of medium to fine sandstone and also minor clay stones and silt stones are also there. Point bar are also important for petroleum exploration. They can have an excellent petroleum reservoir potential. So these are also very important, uh, you can say, depositional feature. Yeah. Okay, here are some example of aeolian deposits. As you can observe, the dominant lithology varies from fine to coarse sandstone. These are mostly well sorted and well rounded sandstone and are quartz dominant. Similarly, interdunal sediments in these particular environments act as permeability barrier, which make them poor reservoir. So, as a reservoir, these type of sediment or the rocks which are deposited in these type of environment are not important for as a petroleum reservoir. But these may be served as source rock, as they can trap a large amount of organic material. They can trap, and there is a possibility that. Uh, huge or large amount of organic material deposited in the past in these type of environment and that can react as a source. Okay, here is a one tip to learn about these environment. What you will do, you will google this particular terminology, continental environments and let's read about it and you will find different types of continental environments and their images or figures as well and you can also observe the type of lithologies or characteristics of sediments in those particular environments the environments that I didn't include in my previous slide those are fluvial environment you can search and then deltaic and some marine. And one thing before searching in Google you should be clear about the deposition environment because there are three basic you can say uh, types. First is continental mean mostly those are on land and then transitional means they are in between some part on land and some part maybe in shallow marine or near to ocean and third is some marine deposit okay those are totally marine so the mostly the continental deposits these are on land so, all the figures you will collect about these environments, you, you should know that those will be the uh, environment that were developed on land surfaces. Okay, here is 
some types of environment to help you and these are also some other environments in addition to continental environments you can also search about barrier island and near shore environments and you will find these types of environment like dune beach shore face offshore tidal channel lagoon tidal delta and what you will do you will collect the images of these environments and then also uh, read about lithology variation in these environments and ultimately you will conclude either uh, some petroleum potential is present in these type of environment or not either they are uh, there is a chance of potential reservoir or potential source rock in a particular environment. I am leaving on you because this is the best way to learn about these environments. If you search, you will read, you will see, you will learn quickly about these environments. Okay, also some environments are called deltaic environments. And the particular terminology for those environments are point bar, abundant channel, stream mouth bar, beach ridge, delta, margin island. You can Google a particular terminology as well under a particular environment and then you can find the good literature on a particular environment. And then you can just read it and uh, summarize it in your assignment. Okay, here is another example of submarine turbidites. These are very, you can say, important for petroleum exploration. There are some examples in the world where some good oil and gas reservoirs were found in these type of environments. As named depicted there, these are marine environments as you can observe in the figure below. What are the submarine fan and how these fans actually play a role in depositing these turbidites? So these are mostly consist of sand and gravels enclosed by shales, and in at some place they may be good reservoir as well, and can entrap a large amount of oil generated in the basin. They can and they can entrap as well. So these type of environments and deposits in these environments are, you can say, very effective. Okay, there's also uh, another component of your assignment one, so the carbonate environments, as you can see, non-marine, transitional, and marine environments. Non-marine, those are formed on land, and similarly transitional and then marine and now you will search particularly about non-classic rocks so you should visit your previous lectures to differentiate classic and non-classic rocks and then come again on these slides and google it and search for good images i am looking for those images and let's see who can search some better images and can construct a better assignment Okay, this is all about depositional environment and hopefully when you will search these terminologies on Google, you will find some good images and then you can also uh, read about characteristics of those environments. So, please spend a couple of hours for searching and then spend about one and two hours to write about these environment and I feel it, it will be a best way to learn about these environments and in petroleum geology also um, we have to deal with other topics those are more important in petroleum geology and mostly these topics uh, are covered in your physical geology and uh, mineralogy and petrology subjects and if you have good command on those subjects you will feel comfortable to construct this assignment one but if you are weak in those subjects then definitely this is the time to improve 
the concepts and let's look again into these topics about deposition environment and construct an effective assignment and i will also explain later what percentage will be counted in your final exam uh, for these assignments okay thank you and bye